This is going to be baby's first farm. There's a lot of confusing mumbo jumbo I gotta learn, like crossbreeding and genetics and cloning. I don't understand any of it. We're gonna give it a shot. Hog Ranch will be beautiful. I'm still deciding what I want Hog Ranch to grow. I wanna grow something like, maybe something like corn. Where to build, where to build. Maybe somewhere near this water, because I'm definitely gonna need water to grow my crops. It's also not too far away from Outpost and Ranch. I'm actually tempted just to build in another crevice. There's plenty of nodes around here too. I just can't be too close to the snow, I think. I'm pretty sure snow messes with uh, crop growth. But look at this, this is like Node Valley over here. It's like I've died and gone to Node Heaven. All right, I wanna build in this little thing, this little munted location. Dude, I just wanna suck all these nodes up before anyone gets a sniff on them. It's just a shame I can't make an animal farm. Imagine if you could have a pet hog. I need to make it so that you can domesticate animals. Time to claim our home. Let's start off with a one by two. I don't want to get too overzealous. Oh, didn't mean to make that stone, but don't worry, we've got plenty of stone to harvest. Door on, TC down. All right, let's suck up all that stone. Oh, oh dear. Poor hogs being harassed. It's a blessing for us though. We'll wait till um, it gets mauled and then we can take that. Oh, <laughs> poor hog. Off your trot, mate. What a contorted position. That is interesting. Look at him. Doing a full like reverse scorpion or something. I don't know what I'd call that. I've got a healthy amount of stone. This time we make another airlock. I don't know if we have enough animal fat yet for a furnace. I think we're just going to be short. Oh, only 43. We need seven more. Can we quickly find another animal before sunset? There's a bear. No, he's pretty good health. Fuck. Wait, is there like a cheese strat I can do? Oh! Oh, no. Guess not. Oh, we spawn near a river, we can get some of our seeds. Give me this juicy corn, juicy pumpkins. Oh, I spy a red barrel down there. Six low grade, I think we're one short. There's another one over there. That's good timing, because then we can cook our metal during the night. Get some metal doors down. Don't have to worry about getting flame raided. All right, furnace time. Can also just upgrade the rest of stone. There we are. Ah! What is, what is this person doing? <laughs> There's an interesting PvP style. How do I want this ranch to look? Don't tell me. I can't put my, can't put any foundations here. Oh, this is already painful. Surely you can put a foundation there. What is stopping that? That looks like a perfect spot. Why do I always do this to myself? I've already cooked the ranch before it's even started. We'll just build on top of it and pretend like that's not there. But I can't even do that because then I can't get back in. What am I going to do? So you're telling me I can put a roof like that and a roof there, but I can't put foundations where I want them? Well, I guess we're going to have to soft side out one of these walls. Maybe this one. Dude, and I can't even put foundations back here. This is just tragic. All right, we'll, go, we'll soft side this one out. Maybe even the roof. No, we'll do the roof. All right, it's gonna take 23 spears and 10 minutes to do this. Okay, slight detour is over. Who the fuck is this? Ah! Okay. Not too sure what was going on there. He's got his little gaming laptop on him too. Let's put some stairs like that, I guess. Not too sure what this little area is going to be now. Maybe this is my little secret garden, my own little secret courtyard. So you know what? I'm going to go spiral instead. Yeah, much better. Okay, well, how do I kind of want this to go? It's going to be a multi-story farm. Expand out this way. Look, I don't know what's going on here. This is a bit interesting. Because all this can just be soft-sided, can't it? I'm just astounded that I can't put any foundations here. Guess it's just gonna have to be soft side city over here. 
We're sealing it, we're confirming it, this is how it's gonna look. Got a nice platform going on here. Okay, this is certainly shaping up. Can't put stuff here, it's just breaking, it's falling apart. It's all falling apart here. I think the stability's absolutely cooked. Putting wall frames here increase stability. Oh yeah, I could put a staircase there. If I just whack a bunch of these down, we shouldn't have stability issues. Oh, I think I saw a little nook. Can people peep in here? Uh, no, not really. Well, this could be floor one of the farm. I'll grow some stuff in here. Okay, this is the ranch's second floor. You know what, I'd honestly like some windows for my view. I mean, I've got such a nice view. Might as well appreciate it. Let me put something here. Go on, surely a wall can go there. It's not in a rock. What are you talking about? That one can go in. So why can't this one? You can put one there as well. <laughs> Dude, the possibilities. They're endless on this thing. Alright, maybe that can just be our little nature's peak. I know we said that this was going to be the nature's peak, but this might actually just have to be the entrance. There we go. So I'll just put a door here and this can be the uh, walkway in. Also, this so will put the signage once we get the tier one. Other than that, I think our base is pretty much fully built. Just going to put some doors on. As for the issue with this, if we're, I don't even know if we're going to be able to, but if we're lucky, we might be able to put some wooden barricades here just to cover it up. You can put a foundation like that. It just doesn't snap in. I'll try and figure something out here. What happens if I build it, build it up? Yeah, could work. Oh, even that. Okay, hold on. This could actually work. How far out do I have to go? Or I can put another TC. Alright, the new TC is going to have to go here. <laughs> this is mounted as all this for the hog ranch. Sorry little sulfur node. You're going to be forever entombed. No one will ever harvest you. There we are. Now this shouldn't decay anymore. And we've protected that side. It looks odd, I know. But it works. Now we just need to farm up for a tier one. 50 scrap, let's get the tier one going. All right. Now I can make my wooden sign for the hog ranch. We need a water catcher. There's planter box here, sprinkler, light as well. It's all very cheap too, so looks like it's pretty doable. There we go, sign one. Hog ranch is looking good. Oh, I see someone. Oh, got him. Oh, hit him again. What? What the fuck? Oh, caned him. Oh, he had nuts on him. Nice. There we go. I think I can make some planter boxes right now. Where are my tarps? Do I have any tarps? Yeah, we go at two. What does it take? Only 200 wood? Oh, two tarp each. Man, they're expensive. Can make one. There we go. This will be the first of many, hopefully. Solar panel, need tech trash and high qual. I have tech trash. Well, not physically. This gaming laptop should have tech trash if I recycle it. And I don't really have that many recyclable components, but if I get, when I get some more, I'll go on a recycle run. Because there's no bandit camp on this map. It's just been condensed into outpost. So all the stuff that's in bandit camp is at outpost. Oh, a large planter box just on the floor. Who is throwing that away? People are just leaving little trinkets and goodies on the floors. Oh, someone's hitting some signs over there. Maybe they've got a large planter box waiting for me. Ooh! Yes. Sorry, man. I have to take this from you. But I don't feel happy about it if it makes you feel any better. He had a tarp on him. That's big news. 65 scrap, I didn't even realize. I can almost buy a solar panel with that. All right, it's becoming night. I reckon I should trot over to Outpost. Hopefully we do not die with everything we own. Dude, I can't see shit and I'm trying to go up this mountain. I think I've negotiated my way up. We're nearly there, about halfway. I can see the lights. 
There's a fucking wolf on me. Get me to the safe zone now. Come on. Oh my god. I was a goner. Piss off, you mutt. Dude, that was bad. That could have been real bad. Oh, I got little seats for you to sit at. Oh, three tech trash. Fuck buying one. We can just make them ourselves, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I got five now. Didn't realize the cameras were so good as well. We'll make three. We only really need three, do we? Is there anything else we need to buy from here? What do we need? Battery. Oh, there's a pump and everything here. Water pump. How? But we're so far away from water. I didn't realize that I was so far away. Can I set up like a pump house here and then have it siphoned all the way to mine? If we lose all this, I am going to be extremely sad. So close to home. Okay, I can see our house. Yay! We did it! Okay, we need to unlock fluid pump. And now we've got sprinkler. There we go. I think I've done that power right. Yeah, there. Look at that. i got two lights now. Oh, you know what? I should make an electric switch. That way I can decide when I want them on and off. Yeah, look at that. Switch on, switch off. I'll use my final tarp to make a water catcher. So we can start actually getting some water here. This can just go anywhere out here, I'm pretty sure. I believe it should start collecting water. It doesn't have to rain for it to catch it, I'm pretty sure it just gets it. Oh, more tarp. Oh, more tarp. Oh, water jug on the ground. That's exactly what we need. I think we can actually start farming now. And if I chuck this water, is there not enough water in it for me to throw? What's going on? Oh, we'll go fill it up. We'll go to this water source. Oh, shit. Uh. Ah! No. Just let me have my water jug, please. I need my water jug. Surely he leaves the water jug for me. No, he's taking the water jug. Hey, can I have my water jug, please? Can I just have my water jug back? Oh my god, no way. Another one chucked on the floor. Fairy godmother's looking out for me. Here's the lagoon. Yeah, it's fresh water. I'm pretty sure it would uh, come up with that little salt water icon. I think it has. If it's not, now can I chuck water? Yeah, 2,500 mils. I believe we can start planting seeds now that it's wet. And so those are genetics. Y means yield, I believe, and G means growth. And then X is just means no genetic spot, I'm pretty sure. Like that one seems pretty good. It's got, got a lot of green. I'll figure out cloning later because I have no idea. And I believe if they're all next to each other, like they're going to crossbreed or something. <laughs> i got no idea. All right, I've been nurturing these little corns, running back and forth with my water jug, filling them up. And now they are all fully grown. Look at them. They grow up so fast. So now let's harvest all. Oh, were well, some not mature yet? So we can actually sell this at Bandit Camp, which is outpost now. 15 corn, 10 scrap. So yeah, we can actually sell corn for profit. What I've just realized while I was running back and forth about four or five times is that we have built in a terrible spot to run a big farm that I want to run. I thought the hose would be infinite and I could go set up a little pump base down at this spot and just run it here. But uh, this is how long the hose goes. As you can see, it's going to run out right about now. This is about as far as it can go. Which is just nowhere near what we need. So I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to move location tomorrow. Which is not something I want to do, you know. I spent so long building my little base. But I think we're going to have to move, close up shop and move. Oh, our planter boxes haven't been tainted. Electricity still here. Looking good up here as well. I think we're safe. All right, now let's go check out the locations we want to move to. Oh, they have not expanded on their base. So it looks like we could potentially set up shop here. I think this would be the best course of action. It's so close, so it wouldn't take much to transfer loot. 
All right, let's get a TSA and some materials and set up a little base. Right here should be good. Let's build a little one by two. There we go. TSA's down. All right, it's morning. Time to transfer my loot. There we go. I managed to get the most important stuff over. Sad that we've got to say goodbye to the ranch, but we're going to have a new life down at the lake. There we go. Second trip. Successful. Time to start building. All right, I've done some building. Hog Ranch 2.0 is back. So you just come through here. We've got a little airlock. Come in here. This is where the base of operations will be. This is where the pump will go. Got my battery set up. I've got all my clean electronics. Look how clean that is. Got my light here that turns that light on. On, off. My planter beds. Sprinkler there. Then you come out here for the roof. If we need to expand, if we're getting going gangbusters, we can expand up here. Solar panels. And then in here is just where the tier one is and the TC. So now we just need to go get a water pump. I think they're like 200 scrap from Outpost. Yeah, water pump, 200 scrap. Let's see how much scrap we have. I think I have like 115. 114. We've got some components to recycle. I think we've got enough. Okay, we're 50 short. I don't know why. I thought that would be enough. Do you have a rock? Hey! Ronald, mate. Hey, you got, you got a rock? I threw mine away. What did you say? Sorry, I had, I had my voices off. My bad. What did you say? Oh, no, there's a rock here. Never mind. I was just looking for a f single fucking rock. I need 50 scrap for, um, trying to get a water pump. Where do you guys live? Where are you set up? Uh, just over here. I'll show you. Uh, mine's, um, like right here, this orange looking thing. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Here, come in, because there's a guy over there. Uh, yeah, come, come grab whatever you want. Doesn't really bother me. What equals, like, 40? That's all I need. Uh, you can take some scrap in from the TC if you want. Are you sure? Thanks for the leg up. See ya, TK. No worries. Good Enjoy luck the wire. There we go. Exactly 200 on the dot. Alright, let's get this precious cargo home. Hopefully this is the right thing. Does this not... Oh, dude. Come on. <laughs> Surely this thing goes in here. You're taking the piss. This doesn't fit. Is it not deep enough or what? Does it need more room? Okay, so it fits out here. Why does it not fit in there? Put that there. We'll have to add an extra bit around my base. Oh, well, we'll just have to build around it. All right, what can we do? Do something like this. Oh, we didn't mean to upgrade that. So I demolish these. Then I can just upgrade these and seal it off, can't I? And it's all a little safe and sound. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Just put a little airlock here. Now, I don't know anything about anything. Hook this, you just hook it up to power, I'm assuming. And then you get the hose out, hook that up as well. I think you can just hook it directly up to the sprinkler, can't you? Is it on or what? Why did it say connection requires pump? Do I need a pump on this as well? Does this go on top or what? <laughs> I got no fucking idea what I'm doing. Okay, I eventually figured out the piping, so my sprinklers are working now, and I've planted a few seeds. Now, I think there's some sort of website where you take all the genetics and you can put them in and it tells you how to plant them, so I think I might do that. All right, I've just finished going through the most boring, mind-numbing process of working out crossbreeding, but I finally figured it out. These saplings, once they crossbreed with this middle one, is going to produce a god clone corn seed which basically just is three Ys and three Gs, which means grows fast and it gives a lot. I've also done some reorganization with the sprinklers and the lights. Apparently this is the best way to do it. And uh, we've got six planter boxes now. And if you're wondering why I'm in the team, that's just because some of the old Hog Hotel boys were getting me tarp. Oh, I just realized what this sign's missing. A hog doesn't have any ears. There we go. There we go. Hog Ranch has got a facelift. Oh, there we go, finally. Let's clone this. We now have three god clones. Let's put them down. Now I'm going to fill up all these planter boxes and the corn is just going to come rolling in. It's time for our first full harvest. As you can see, we have lines and lines of genetically perfect corn cobs. The only issue is I'm looking at corn yield right now and it's saying one. I thought I had good yield. I thought I'd at least get two or three times. 
Is it to do with the maturity? Because the maturity's not 100% yet. Do I need to wait for her to get 100 to get him or what? I already tried one here and only got one. Oh, you gotta wait for the fruiting process. Now it's starting to go double. I didn't I didn't understand there was like a step system. I thought once it matured, it was done. All right, yeah, look, now they're starting to double. Man, look how ripe these are getting. I'm getting five corn. How much is, how much is it gonna be when it finally gets to 100% fruiting? All right, these are all looking like they're ripe now and I'm getting nine. That is silly. I'm getting nine from these. Let's harvest them. All right, how much corn is that? Oh, what? 448 corn. And bear in mind, I picked up two that weren't mature. So we could potentially make a whole inventory full of corn each hour. How much is that going to be when I sell it at uh, Outpost? I should set up a vending machine and sell some corn god clones. What's a reasonable price too? Because say you make about 300 per crop of six. I mean, like... I reckon I could sell it for like 200 scrap or something. Would that be like a fair price? Even more, 300? Should sell it for as much as I can get for one crop harvest. Let's go sell our corn. What is this? Is this seriously how I have to go up? What the fuck? Why would they make this a thing? How are you supposed to sell stuff doing this? Oh, I can't even get one transaction through. There we go. Got our first hundred. Dude, this is like the hellish Olympics trying to sell this fucking corn. Alright, there we go. 300 a scrap on the dot. Not bad. What should I spend it on? Right, can I buy fertilizer? Help my crops grow a bit better. Let's buy a hundred scrap worth of fertilizer. Test out the heaters maybe too. Fertilizer here. Yes it is. Let's go home. I ate some of my delicious corn on the way. Oh, what? Luckily, he's not a very good shot. <laughs> he's still going at me. I'm gonna take the ultra wide way home. There we go. Does it just disappear? Where does it go? Seems to be eating it. Oh, ground's up to 100 now. Okay, I think all the ground should be 100 now. We need to improve water, which I don't understand. We have four sprinklers going. How much more water does it need? Temperature's now at 100. And now these temperatures are at 100. Doesn't seem like no matter what I do, water just keeps going 70. 71's not bad, but everything else is at 100 except water. All right, we'll put the vending machine right here. Let's be a good little spot for it. There. One corn clone. Like, I don't know if I'm... You might be laughing and saying this is way overpriced, but, like, I honestly don't know. I'm just charging the amount that I got from my first crop harvest. Seven in there to start off with. I doubt we're going to get many sales. It's just interesting to see. All right, these are ripe now. Time to do the final harvest of the night. Damn, look at that. Look at that loot. Look at that corn. I'll sell these tomorrow morning. But I'm going to close up shop now. Let's just hope no one raids the ranch while I'm gone. Oh, still alive. I was not expecting this base to still be here. Have we made any vending machine sales? No. Why does no one want my god clones? There we go. Another 300 scrap. I should increase operations. Let's get another pump. And we'll get another solar panel too. There we go. I'll make a second story so we can get double the corn. Made at home. Oh, these are nearly grown too. Man, they grow up so fast. Okay, I've added the second floor and I've got both are up and running. So it's time to plant some new corn. Okay, we've got two stories of fully ripe corn. I'm going to harvest this and see how much I get. All right, the corn harvest has produced just under a box and a half of corn. So I'm going to go sell this at Outpost and then we can research down to Satchel. Which I think, how much scrap do we need? 690. Yeah, we'll have plenty by that. And then we're gonna go raid someone. I think we're gonna raid someone on the lake. There's two bases. I don't. I haven't seen much uh, activity out of the middle one, which was here before we even set up shop. But then there is another one across the lake over there. You can't really see in the dark. I might give a shot. I've been passively smelting sulfur and metal frags, so we should have, should have a good amount of gunpowder. 
There we go. I've finally unloaded the remainder of my corn deposits. I've made good progress on the tech tree. Let's see if I have enough. I'm pretty sure I do. With some change left over. Yep. Bean can and satchel. With 25 to spare, what should we get? Kayak. There we go. Let's go home and see how many satchels I can make. Alright, I can only afford six satchels. I also made myself a DB, and I'm going to use these incense rounds. I don't know where I got them from, probably a dead body. On the uh, base that's across the lake over there, because it's got a wooden door there, because I don't want to just waste one satchel on a wooden door. When it's a bit lighter, I think I should go and check it out. Now, the base I'm talking about is that one there. It popped up overnight when I woke up in the morning and was here. I don't know how much activity is going on with it. But that one has had zero activity. I doubt there's anything in that. At least this one seems doable and within my, you know, price range with satchels. Yep, that's wooden. Is that doing residual damage? Eh, nearly half. That's not too bad. Maybe we should just eoka it. There we go. Oh, it's another wooden door. Fuck it. I'm using the satchels. I don't have the patience to farm up more. Oh, it's two, isn't it? Takes it down quite low, but I don't have time. Oh, more doors. How many fucking wooden doors does this guy have? This has been the worst base to raid. I should have just got Molotovs. Author TC. Quick, seal up, seal up. I haven't even made locks yet. Oh, I hear footsteps just in time. Hello. Yeah, too late, guys. I already got the fat loot. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Look at that loot. Oh, he's got some cards. Multicolored cards. That's it. This is all this guy had. What a great raid. What a way to end off the video.